Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at Universal Media Creation Tool. It allows you to download multiple versions, builds of Windows 10 instead of the last couple of versions that Microsoft usually makes available. So look for a video link up here or in the video description. Come to this page, click download now, and you wait somewhere around three to five seconds. It'll automatically download. The reason I show you this is it's going to give you a warning because there's a batch file in there, which typically Windows is going to protect you against. Go ahead, click keep. Open the file up, extract it anywhere you want. Doesn't really matter. Let's go. There we go. Then we're going to come in here, and you see we've got a handful of files here. You're going to look for media creation tool dot bat. We're going to right click, and we're going to run it as administrator, just like that. So again, right click, run as administrator. Once again, you get another warning, and there you go. So this is going to pop up and basically it's an interface to open the media creation tool. So as you can see, now if you go on the media creation tool, you can probably only get the last couple of versions, but we can get an older version, which is real handy for tech server admins who don't want to install these newer versions yet. I sure wish they changed these numbering. It was great till they got to 2004, 2009. Let's say we want 1909. Give it a second. The media creation tool is going to pop up if you haven't used it. In addition, we have a video on the page showing you how to use that. It's pretty easy to do. You just walk through it. So it'll take a minute, and then it'll ask you what you want to do with it. So you can actually upgrade right through this, or you can save the file, depending on what you want to do. So I might hit pause here for a second or two, just so we're not sitting here watching, because it's not the fastest thing going. While we're doing that, down at the bottom, there's some similar articles. I like this a lot, too, because you can download the latest images from Chrome, Firefox, or Edge, no matter what you use. So... That's kind of neat. There we go. Accept the terms. Microsoft has to get a few things ready. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're getting ready. It's not that hard, you know. And then it'll basically make a suggestion to you as to what version you need. And you can always change that as well. That's what, really what I want to show you. Because from here on out, you're simply just going to follow through next, next, next until you download the ISO or upgrade in place, depending on what you want to do. There it is. So you can upgrade now, create the installation media. That means you can burn it to a flash drive, a DVD, or save it to an ISO, which is what I usually do. As you can see, it's guessing which build I need. It's right on 64-bit. I do have Pro on here. But you see, you can also grab the Enterprise version, but typically most of you are going to get Home Pro EDU, except for obviously server admins who are probably often using Enterprise build. Click Next. Put it on your flash drive, save it as an ISO file. Decide where you want to save it. Make sure you pay attention to that. Click save. And somehow they have to get more things ready. And then it'll give you a percentage bar when, there it goes, when the progress is going to 100%, when it hits 100%, you can actually close this out. Simple as that. And there you have it. So there's just another way, and there's not really a ton of ways to download Windows 10 different builds than the last couple of builds. I think some people are going to like it. So there you have it. As always, bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo. Click on that to subscribe. Thanks for watching as always. See you.